What is the best location to capture a Bigfoot on film? I am not rich by any means, but I have accumulated some wealth and I'm interested in the mysterious and possibly conscious undiscovered animal know as Bigfoot. I'm in the early stages of planning an expedition to an unknown location. I am bringing way too much, including 100 trail cams, a 4K camera, several inferred cameras and seven thermal cameras. Four of them mountable on the helmet. I plan to take seven people out there with me. Each person will have a back-mounted camera and two head-mounted cameras. One thermal and the other just a GoPro. Our intent is to initiate a friendly interaction with them whatever that might entail. I have made smaller expeditions in the past deep into northern Ontario only to hear things I cannot explain. And leaving me with more questions than answers. I plan to go and stay for two months establishing a camp and look for Bigfoot and fossil remains. My goal is to capture a Bigfoot in 4K or on thermal imaging, or come back with some sort exciting solid evidence. Fossil remains is what we will spend a lot of time searching for. Just to be a little more clear, we want to plan on setting up a base camp with the idea of light excavation of the surrounding area. Shifting some soil with some heavy equipment over a large space. We plan to have people moving soil and looking for fossil remains the entire time we are out there. Keep in mind we are bringing an anthropologist and a paleoanthropologist to help identify any remains we come across. They are included in the total eight. I want to make it very clear that we don't have any permission from the government to do large-scale excavation projects of any kind on any wildlife reserve, and we never will. They would never allow it, but as far as I know, no one has attempted a project of this scale. And if we happen to be in the right area the results could change everything. Since posting this I have gained an insane amount of insight on this project. I have also gained some new companions to help me along with some very useful skills. A couple days ago I planned on launching in three weeks. But I didn't realize how truly massive this project was going to get for me. I've learned truly valuable information and have had more people join and it's just quite literally exploded. I'm happy. But I'm focused. I'd like to give you guys as much information as I can, while being as detailed as possible. What initially started as one group of eight is now two groups with 15 people total. Group. One is our excavation fossil recovery team. It has the majority of people stationed within it. It consists of two heavy machine operators, one anthropologist, one paleoanthropologist, three diggers with construction backgrounds, one certified EMT, one former park ranger, two volunteers for grunt work unpaid. The other group will consist of four people including myself. We will have two head-mounted cameras. And one rear-facing camera. One of the head-mounted cameras will have thermal imaging. The excavation team will be located 150 or so miles from our hunting team. I figured out very quickly these two elements can't work close by. I am bringing over 100 trail cams and four thermal cameras. We are also taking an abundance of food and water. More than enough to feed 30 people for over a couple months at least the excavation team is. We are currently establishing a location to place two solar-powered industrial-sized fridges. Along with makeshift communication center, before anyone heads out. Establishing a consistent way to store and maintain food and water is going to be of utmost importance. An important thing I overlooked is the lack of gasoline in the middle of nowhere. Figuring out how to get a reliable steady supply of gas will be extremely important as well. A good question that came up is how we are going to get heavy equipment out in the middle of nowhere. It's difficult to say for sure due to that fact we have only just recently picked a general area. But we can have plans set in place to either fly in equipment or ship it. 
Shipping it will be the most low profile but time consuming depending on the area. If the location doesn't have a dock or an inaccessible dock it's gonna be super expensive or impossible. If it's expensive, it's not a deal breaker but it's gonna be a pain. Post from user Oric U at Reddit. Comments. My feeling is that too many people and too much equipment is going to keep them at bay. They will always know you're there before you ever see one of them. Remember that the best footage of Bigfoot was taken by a two-man team. Quietly exploring a creek bed on horseback in broad daylight. That said, a lot of people out looking increases your chances of finding bones. Comment from user Occam's Volkswagen at, at Reddit. 